asymmetric key encryption and decryption. So remember, with asymmetric keys, you have a different key to encrypt than the one that you use to decrypt. So the way that we're going to do this is similar to our symmetric uh, encryption lab. So if we go over to the um, course website and we open up the discussion forum with the asymmetric lab exercise, we can read the instructions. It says that this is where we're going to put our um, information. Each person is going to generate a key pair, public and private key, using an RSA algorithm. RSA is the name of the algorithm we're going to use. And what we're going to do is when you create your pair, you're going to store your private key locally on your computer and you're going to post your public key to your discussion forum. Then you get to go to someone else's discussion forum, take their public key, encrypt a message for them and put it back in their forum, and then they'll return to their discussion forum after someone has responded and encrypt the message with the private key, place it in the forum, and then finally you'll return to confirm that they got the correct message. Okay, So this is what it's going to look like. Um, the first thing that we have to do is we have to generate a key pair because if you remember unlike a symmetric key uh, an asymmetric key can't just be chosen arbitrarily because the public key and the private key are linked mathematically so to do that we're going to go to a web page that will generate keys for us it's www.pepta.net I don't know anything about it they're just a service that generates keys and what we're going to do is we're going to generate keys of length 2048 which is a strong key after we do that we're going to hit generate and the website is going to produce a new set of public and private keys for us as uh, shown here. Now the first part of this website shows a lot of information associated with uh, the generation of the key. But the thing that's important for you is down here at the bottom this block of text that says begin private key, end private key, begin public key, end public key. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this private key, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to keep a copy on my local computer here. That's private, so I'm not going to let anyone see that. Um, that's how the private key works. But for the public key, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that public key, I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to go back to the discussion form and post it. give it an appropriate title and then in the message I'm just going to put my paste my public key. Great. Okay. So then at some then once you see that someone has posted a message, you can go to their message if no one else has used their public key yet. I only want one person working with each I only want two people working together to do their encryption. I can go to someone else's uh, discussion forum. Let's pretend that I'm Bill now and I'm going to uh, answer this, I see, oh, Don's posted his public key. What I'm going to do is I'm going to encrypt a, mes encrypt a message to him. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that public key because I need it in order to encrypt the message. Then I'm going to go to an online tool that will do encryption for us, and in this case I'm going to use this one. It's https colon slash slash www.piddr.de slash p-i-d-c-r-y-p-t slash question mark page equals demo underscore RSA dash encryption. What we see here is just an online tool that does encryption for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my message uh, right here. And for this message, I think I will type in um, something about um, a secret message I have knowing about Satoshi. I'm going to say, I know the true identity of Satoshi. Mysterious. All right, then down here, I'm going to clear out the, the private key if there's one here, so there's no confusion. I'm going to put the public key that I just copied from the discussion forum in there, and then I'm going to click, click on Encrypt. Interesting. Now I'm going to select all that text, copy it, and then go back to the forum where I'm going to reply to this public key with the encrypted message. Here is an encrypted message for you. Paste it there. Once you see that someone has responded to your public key, what you need to do now is go take that encrypted message, 
pair it with the private key that you have stored on your computer and decrypt it. Post the decrypted message back in the form. Here we go. Oh, I see that someone's responded and sent me an encrypted message. So I'm going to grab it, go back to our website that we just used. I'm going to clear out the public key. I'm going to put the encrypted text into this slot here, cut and paste it. I'm going to go to where I have stored my private key on my computer, copy it, go back here, put it in the private key slot, interesting, and now I'm going to say decrypt. Down here you can see the text has been decrypted with the private key. It says I know the true identity of Satoshi. So I'm going to copy that text, go back to the, dis go, uh, go back to the discussion forum, and respond to that message that says, and say, is this your message to me? Post it. And then the last thing to do for this assignment is when someone, uh, after someone um, posts a decrypted version of the message that you sent them, you need to return to that form and tell them whether or not they got it right. So I'll say here, up, oh, that's that's the message, comma, at least the part inside the quotation marks. Post it to the forum. And then once you've had that exchange, that's the extent, uh, that's the point at which uh, the assignment is done. Now, if for some reason, the encryption fails or the decryption fails, you two need to work together in order to establish what happened and then demonstrate a successful encryption and decryption communication within your thread. All right? And if you have any trouble, Bill and I will drop in uh, to help you out. Okay, uh, that's it. Thank you very much.